hello friends welcome to global online friends in this video we are going to discuss on the topic measures of central tendency for you from the unit statistical economics for your upcoming UGC net in economics and friends if you want to join our net set economics crash course in this crash course you will get complete syllabus theory lectures you will get complete syllabus MCQ lectures you will get notes on all the units you will get full syllabus mock tests and you will also get solved P uh, previous year MCQs with on solution and all then uh, to join this course you can download our global online app from play store and you can select UGC net paper to, uh, to category then you can join or else you can also contact this number you can send a whatsapp message so let us move to the today's topic in this to uh, video we are going to discuss about measures of central tendency so central tendency means as you all know it is the central value to represent the given data so in this way in measures of central tendency there we can find arithmetic mean or it is also known as the average then we can see median then mode and mean means uh, again it is divided into uh, geometric mean harmonic mean and weighted mean so let us discuss one by one we may expect question on this topic so first let us start with arithmetic mean or simply it is known as the mean or it is all it is also known as the average and uh, arithmetic means means it is a single value to represent the entire data so it will uh, the arithmetic mean it is going to represent the whole given data by using only one data for example whenever we uh, ask uh, result to the students yes they will just say percentage 75 percent 80 percent so it means they will combine all the uh, six subject marks and they are going to tell us only single value in percentage so that is known as the arithmetic mean so in this way arithmetic mean is going to represent the entire given data with only one single value so here uh, and this arithmetic mean is it is based on all the values of given data so and uh, this arithmetic mean uh, it is affected by extreme value it means when one when one value changes the arithmetic mean value will also change it is affected by the extreme values and it uh, we cannot locate arithmetic mean graphically then the sum of deviation the from arithmetic mean is always zero so please remember the remember this sometime we may get question here so that is sigma x minus x bar is equal to always zero and the sum of the square deviation that is d square it is always minimum so here you can go through the formulas also uh, mean for ungrouped data so direct method x bar is equal to sigma x upon n and the assumed mean method or shortcut method x bar is equal to a plus sigma d divided by n here a means assumed mean and the standard deviation method x bar is equal to a plus sigma d dash divided by n into c then suppose it is for grouped data so direct method is sigma fx upon sigma f assumed mean method x bar is equal to a plus sigma fd divided by sigma f then standard deviation method x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d dash divided by sigma f into c so these are the formulas to find arithmetic mean for ungrouped and grouped data and also for continuous series direct method x bar is equal to sigma fm divided by sigma f then step deviation method x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d dash divided by sigma f into c so next one is weighted mean so weighted means mean means weighted mean is used to average a list of numbers when numbers are assigned in weighted average means here for the given data we are going to give weight here we are going to give based on the importance we are going to categorize the observation so here, here also there is a formula x uh, weighted mean is equal to sigma x w divided by sigma w sometimes you see we may get this formula in examination so the next one is geometric mean geometric means means it is the nth root of the product of all the given variables so here if there are two items we can we will take square root then it is uh, this is also geometric mean also it is uh, based on the all the given observations and uh, geometric means will give less weight to large items so this you have to remember 
देन इट इज बेस्ट मेजर ऑफ रेशो चेंजेस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जोमेट्रिक मीन इज द बेस्ट मेजर ऑफ रेशो चेंज देन द जोमेट्रिक मीन वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज इट इज लेस देन द अर्थमेटिक मीन सो प्लीज रिमेंबर इट जी एम इज ऑलवेज लेसर देन ए एम देन जीमेट जोमेट्रिक मीन ये पेनी वन वैल्यू इज जीरो देन जी एम वैल्यू इज जीरो ओनली यस प्लीज रिमेंबर इट ये पेनी वन वैल्यू इन द गिवन ऑब्जर्वेशन इज जीरो देन जोमेट्रिक मीन वैल्यू इज बी जीरो देन इट इट इज अफेक्टेड बाई एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज Yes, geometric mean is going to affect by the extreme values, and uh, this also we cannot show graphically. So here the formula geometric mean is equal to nth root of x one, x two, up to x n. So the next one is harmonic mean. So harmonic mean it is the reciprocal of the average of reciprocal of values of the values of items of a series. So here we are going to take. reciprocal so it is also called sub contrary mean and harmonic mean gives largest weight to the smallest item and smallest weight to the largest item so this you must remember harmonic mean is going to give largest weight to the smallest item and smallest weight to the largest item so in the harmonic mean is also based on all of the values so harmonic mean it is also affected by the extreme values harmonic mean also we cannot locate graphically and the formula is hm is equal to n upon 1 upon x1 plus 1 upon x2 up to 1 upon xn so just we you need to remember the formula the next one is median so median means it is the value of the variable which divides the group into two equal parts so median in the, in the given observation it is going to divide the entire observations into two parts so if the middle value is known as the median so median it is determined by first arranging the series in ascending or descending manner so before going to calculate the median first we should arrange the data in an ascending or descending order while calculating arithmetic mean no need to arrange the data in ascending or descending manner but while calculating median we need to arrange the data in ascending or descending order then median is a positional average so very important median it is an it is a positional average and it is used only in the context of qualitative phenomena such as intelligence gender etc so the, this is not affected by extreme values so median it is not affected by the extreme values so the next one is medium can be located graphically so please remember it we can show the median uh, graphically by using the wagaiu curves yes by using wagaiu curves we can show the median graphically and it is not based on all the observation and this is affected by this lamp sampling fluctuations and the median is not capable of further mathematical treatment so arithmetic mean it is a uh, capable for further mathematical treatment but uh, median it is not capable of further mathematical treatment so median uh, formula n upon 1 sorry n plus 1 upon 2 so for continuous series m is equal to l plus n upon 2 minus cf divided by f multiplied by h the next one is mode so mode it is uh, derived from the french word la mode and mode is the most repeating value in the given observation the value which is uh, occurring frequently that is known as the mode so mode is denoted by z and mode is not affected by extreme values even if extreme values are not known mode can be calculated easily and it can be located graphically yes mode also we can show graphically and it is applicable for both qualitative and quantitative data and mode is also not based on all the observations then mode formula is uh, for this is for continuous series in uh, discrete series the most repeating value is known as the mode if it is continuous series we will use this formula yeah, m uh, mode is equal to l plus d1 upon d1 plus d2 multiplied by h so next let, let us see the relationship between mean median and mode 
so here uh, mean is uh, um, uh, always less than median and median is always less than the most so please remember it and remember these formulas also these formulas are very necessary because on these formulas sometimes we will get questions so in, you have to solve the problems in, in the next video we will solve problems here mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean mode is equal to 2 median minus 3 mean median is equal to 3 mode minus 2 mean mean is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean so this formula you must remember mean is equal to 3 median minus 2 mode so next one is quartile quartile are the measures which divide the data into four equal parts so quartile it is going to divide the entire set of data into four parts so next let us discuss about measures of dispersion so dispersion there are two types one is absolute measures another one is relative measures absolute measures range quartile deviation then mean deviation standard deviation these are known as the absolute measures when it comes to relative measures here coefficient of variation coefficient of quartile deviation coefficient of mean deviation so these are known as the relative measures so here first let us start with range so range range means it is the difference between largest value and the smallest value in a distribution so very easy the difference between largest value and smallest value is known as the range and range here higher the value of range it means that higher the dispersion and lower the value of the range lower the dispersion then there is a formula r is equal to l minus yes range is equal to largest value minus smallest value then range is affected by values and coefficient of range the formula is l minus s divided by l plus s next one is interquartile range interquartile range means it is the difference between upper quartile and lower quartile here the upper quartile means q3 and the lower quartile means q1 so the difference between upper quartile and lower quartile is known as the interquartile range so here the formula formula is q interquartile range is equal to q3 minus q1 then next one is quartile deviation formula is quartile deviation is equal to q3 minus q1 divided by and if you to find the coefficient of quartile deviation uh, q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 then uh, next is mean deviation mean deviation it is also known as the average deviation here mean deviation uh, we can calculate by using median and also we can calculate it by using mean so by median sigma x minus m divided by n from media from mean sigma x minus x bar divided by n these are the two formulas to calculate mean deviation again for continuous series the formulas are different then the next one is standard deviation standard deviation this was first used by carl pearson in the year of 1893 and standard deviation it is also known as the root mean square deviation just please remember it standard deviation it was given by Carl Pearson in the year of 1893 and this is also known as root mean square deviation and it is denoted by sigma or s and it is based on all the observations the formula is sigma standard deviation is equal to sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n coefficient of standard deviation is standard deviation divided by mean next one is variance the term variance this was first given by r a fisher in the year of 1918 and variance means it is the square of the standard deviation variance formula is square of the standard deviation next one is coefficient of variation it was developed by carl pearson and it is denoted by cv formula is cv is equal to s standard deviation divided by mean multiplied by 100 then the next one is lorange curve so lorange curve it is the graphical method of dispersion 
and Lorentz curve it is going to express the relations the inequality degree of inequality in the distribution of income and wealth so many times we this uh, we have seen questions on Lorentz curve so it is going to study the de degree of inequality between income and wealth of the country okay friends this is about today's session in our next video we will uh, discuss with another topic if you want to join our entire course for economics here you will get complete theory lectures complete mcq lectures you will get notes on all the units full syllabus mock test you will get solved previous year questions are available for this you can download global online app from play store or else you can also contact this number you can send whatsapp message you can comment this video so i wish all the best to all thank you